Hey guys, it's Game Face Sid. Welcome back to episode 4 of my Tottenham Career Mode. Now, today's episode, more games to get through now as we push on through the season and hopefully try and pick up some good results. We're going to be changing the team for like the first proper time, really, in this series in today's episode to, fit, to sort of kick things off. So, looking forward to that. Should be good. Uh, there's some of the games to play as well as Leipzig in the Champions League, to the likes of Swansea, Nottingham Forest, etc. Uh, before we go any further, though, I'd appreciate you clicking that like button down below. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and click that. That subscribe button and that'll be brilliant too trying to push towards 20k subs right now and i'd really really appreciate you helping me out on that massive milestone for me so it'd be great if you could do it and uh, let's crack on my things let's take a look at the team we're gonna go butland starting goal like i say it's a change team other than a couple of players from the last game that we played trippier right back stones evans and davis at the back as well rashford winks dyer edwards and madison in midfield with danny starting up front for us so quite heavily changed there's not a massive squad depth for us to pick from so uh, we are still having to pick people like edwards in in this sort of starting 11, but that'll change hopefully in January when we get a few more players out the door and a few more players in. Let's crack on with things. Let's try and get ourselves a victory in our first game in the Champions League with a changed side here. Okay, we go for this game against Leipzig. Let's see how we get on. Big game this one for us. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, we can see Rashford putting a good performance. And uh, let's just wait and see if we can get some other good performances from uh, some of our new signings as well. Madison getting his first full debut amongst other players too. Chance. That was nearly a bad start. <laughs> Luckily, it just goes wide. Good opportunity there for Leipzig. First uh, shot of the game. And it was quite close from actually from, I think it was Keita. Edwards still going. Look for a little cross into the middle here. Big chance. Unfortunately, no one goes for it. Still a chance for Rashford. He puts it wide. And that was unfortunate. It fell to him on his left foot. No, no. Oh, Jesus. 1-0 Leipzig. And the ball goes into the box. Don't defend it properly. Should really get something on it, but we don't. And the guy at the back post scores it. It's 1-0. And it's Werner who scores. He's obviously a great player for Leipzig, but it's disappointing the way we've defended that one. Should stop the cross from going in. Doesn't happen. And there we go, we've conceded. We just seem to be one player short at the back. Even though we had more players on the attacking team, we just seem to be lacking someone in that left-back position. Trippier, for some reason, can't keep up with Timo Werner as well, and that's just resulted in getting a free shot on goal. Chance for Marcus Edwards now. He's getting in behind the defence. Big opportunity for the youngster. Go on, all oh, saved, and Rashford wasn't in the right position to follow up. Still a chance for us here. Madison going to try and pick somebody out, but it's a header clear. No. Oh, my God. Why is he back heeled at there? It's a tactical decision. Keep hold of possession. Waiting for another runner. He might get it here through Edwards. Edwards still going. This time his right foot. Oh, I thought he found the near post. Drags it wide on his weaker side. It's half time. Losing the game 1-0. Disappointed that we're losing the game. They've not really had that many chances. Probably two chances. Um, they've obviously scored it with their team of Werner there, but... Yeah, it's disappointing for us. We might look to the bench at some point. What I am going to do is swap around a few players. Rashford's going to go up front. Danny is dropping in behind. Madison plays a right mid. We'll wait and see whether we can play there. Not really too sure, but for now we won't touch the bench. Hopefully we don't need to because we've got another game coming up. Come on, Butland, bring this ball forward for us. There we go. Look out for distribution. All three changes. I'm not panicking, honest. Um, we're going to bring on Carl Walker-Peters. And we're also going to bring on Oakley Booth and Gareth Bale. We'll take off Eric Dyer, Madison and Edwards. We're going to move Trippier to right mid. And we'll keep the strikers as they are at the moment. So bringing on a couple of good players. Um, but obviously still keeping Harry Kane on the bench. John Henderson. But Gareth Bale being the main player we're bringing on. Let's see whether we've got it in us in the final 30 minutes to get something from this game. Trippier through. Rashford has to. He does. one all. Easy as that. Only made the changes two minutes ago. Rashford's equalised. Back on level terms here, and I think it's deserved for really. We've been the better team for most of this game, so we shouldn't really have been behind in the first place, but it's a good finish there. Rashford takes his chance, and it's one all. Well played. Harry Winks wins it back there, straight from kickoff. Could it be 2-1? Yes, it can. 2-1. We're in front, literally in four minutes of scored two goals. Harry Winks this time. It's a very fluky one. Um, it's not the sort of the nicest goal to score really because it's just you win it back off the defender But anyway, we do score it. We are now in front for the first time in this game with 25 minutes to go It's now 2-1, but yeah, it's literally straight from kickoff. We just win it back off the centre-back It was a really poor pass a hospital pass if you like uh, Harry Winks there scores a goal for us and his I think maybe first start for us Gareth there we go into Danny Ings waiting for some support Ings he's still going Oh, should have passed it to Rashford. Ings! 3-1. Game over. Danny Ings does it by himself. Doesn't need anyone else, does he? It's Danny Ings. He's scored a third goal. 20 minutes to go. And we are now two goals in front of the opposition. Fantastic for us. Really good run. Gets in between the centre-backs or defenders. Gets a little bit fluky. Just beats the keeper to the rebound. And we're now in front by three goals to one. Penalty. 
Yeah, I'll take a penalty. I'm not so sure I agree with it, but I'll take it. He went over, so we'll have it. It's a penalty at 3-1. Could this be now 4 to just top it off for us? Let's have a look on the replay. I mean, yeah, it's it's one of those. Rashford to step up. Can he score past the keeper? I'm not feeling confident. He saves it. Rebound. Easy as that. What are we worried about? 4-1. Job done. And with 12 minutes to go, we are now three goals in front of the opposition. Rashford scoring the rebound there to the penalty. And we are now a little bit more comfortably in front. Like I say, not the best penalty. Had a feeling it was going to be saved. Or we'll just put wide. And uh, the second one was comfortably in the back of the net. In a way. Still time for a fifth. Come on. Come on, Gareth. You can do something here. Has to be. Has to be a goal. It's 5-5-1. Five, five, not even too sure who scored it, but we'll take it with two minutes to go. Is it Danny Ings? I don't know. Might be a defender. Of course it's Danny Ings. There we go. Danny Ings takes a second Champions League goal for us. Just a minute to spare. It's now 5-1. Looking pretty comfortable now. That's it. Finishes 5-1. Not bad from being 1-0 down in the first half. Uh, to then score five goals in the second. Pretty good for us. Great little turnaround. Did obviously need the substitutes in a way. Um, but yeah, we were just really, really pleased that we started taking our chances, which is good to see. And in the end, it was a deserved result for us. A 5-1 thrashing and three points to kick off our Champions League campaign. Fantastic news. A bid in for Wanyama. It's come a few weeks too late, but we'll take it anyway from Man United. £23.5 million is not really good enough when you're Man United. Let's negotiate. Let's try and get 30-ish for him. Let's go 31. They'll probably run out of the room. No, okay, not going very far with that. That's their final offer already. 29. Come on, Jose. That's just embarrassing. 27.5. You know you want to? No, no, he doesn't want to. 27. Yeah. Go for that. Go for that. Yes, 27. So much for 23 being a final offer. To be fair, I'll take 27 one Wanyama. That's pretty good. On to the next game, and the boys are back. Uh, when I say boys, I just mean the, the starting 11 players, basically. The good players are back. Um, so, yeah, we've got Bull and Stein in goal. We've got Klein, Stones, Lascelles, and Rose at the back. Again, we've got Gareth Bale, Henderson, Kearney, and Session with Deli Alley in front of them, and Harry Kane as striker. Let's go on with this game. at Swansea's a whole match in the league for us to play. Let's see how we do. This is the bench as well. Uh, pretty much the same to you'd expect. Okay, here we go. Gareth Bale playing against a Welsh team. Anything we could take from that? Probably not. Go on, Gareth. Get yourself a goal here as well. Great run from him. He's going to shoot. Oh, what a save that was from the goalkeeper. Harry Kane holds up for Bale. Oh, my God. What was that? Getting a little bit close to half-time. Not a lot's happened, to be honest. Uh, Danny Rose now going to try and deliver a ball in for Tom Kearney, though, and it's cleared away once again by the defenders. Ten minutes left the first half. Still not really creating that many clear chances. We're quite clearly the better team, but just not managing to break them down just yet. Oh, That's it for the first half. Nil-nil. Uh, not great in terms of a scoreline. Not great in terms of creating chances. But there's still second half to play, and we have to turn things up a little bit here and just try and... Score, really. Six shots, three on target, not even had more possession than Swansea. They've yet to have a shot, so that tells you what you need to know. Yes, well played, Harry. Oh, come on, ref, send him off for something. Probably, probably not a red, but give him something. Stopped Harry from passing it there. Not even a booking. I don't know why Bale's doing that stance from this angle. I mean, not even he's going to be able to score from here. We're going to try and pick out Deli Alley from post. Go on, Gareth, give us a good one. Yes. Very useless. Go on. Oh my god. We're running out of time here. 30 minutes to go. Feels like one of those sort of games at the moment. We're going to have to make some changes soon. First two changes Danny Ings and Rashford to come on with 20 minutes to go. We'll take off Deli Alley and Sessi Young. Bale on the left hand side. Ings in behind Harry Kane. Let's go with that. Let's see what it improves us. Hopefully it will with the time we have left. Line. Go on, into that post. Oh, what a chance for Bale. He scored it. It's 1-0. And Gareth Bale does it. And he has got us the goal. Just a couple of minutes after the substitutes once again. Tactical switches, you see. Uh, moved over to the left-hand side and he scores. Really good back post header there. He's done that a couple of times for us so far in this series. Good ball in there by Klein on his weaker left-hand side. Don't know whether he's actually got the final touch on it. Might have been the defender, but... Whatever, it goes in, that's the most important thing. It's 1-0, and it will go down as a Gareth Bale goal. Final change, Kane to come off, we'll bring on Madison now. Uh, Ings will go up front, Madison just in behind him with about 15, 20 minutes left. Go on, Ings. You're stronger than Cal Bartley. Ish. No, don't you dare. What a save, Butland. I mean, it's right at him, but whatever, we'll give him credit anyway. And uh, that's a fantastic chance there for Swansea. You could see it coming from a mile off, though. But for some reason, we didn't pick up the man in the box. Literally the only guy in the box. But it's a counter-attack anyway, and it's Marcus Rashford 
Big chance for a little cut back here. Oh my god. Should be 2 0. Didn't want to score anyway. So. Ball through. This is a big chance. Has to be. Oh, it's a useless shot. Fabianski saves and then holds on to it. Got to be it now, ref. Play whistle. There we go. 1 0 thrashing. I think the papers will say. So we'll take it. There's a home victory for us. Three points again for us. Uh, really happy about that. Um, good to see Gareth Bale getting a goal in this game as well. Should have really been more. Could have been more, but there you go. Sometimes happens. The most important thing is we grind out the victory there. Uh, better stats uh, as the stats were showing there. Got more possession in the end as well, which is good. Player drills this week. See uh, Lasalas go up to 79 overall. He continues his growth. Looking forward to him hitting 80, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks and months. On to the final game of today's episode against Nottingham Forest. Uh, a cup game. Three days later, it's been quite an interesting episode because it's a real test of our squad now with Sony fixtures coming up on back to back and quite close apart. Um, so it's going to be a real test of the squad that we've not had so far this season uh, over the next episode as well. Uh, we're going to have to make a few changes, I think, for this game with it being a cup match. Okay, so the final game of today's episode in the cup. This is the team going to go with Wayne Hennessy starts in goal for his debut. Kerry Trippier, Stones, Evans, and Davis at the back. We've got Madison, Henderson, Wink, Session, Ali in midfield, Rashford starts up front. And eventually, looks like this the Sellers, Rose, Dyer, Oakley, Booth, Edwards, Kane, and Danny Ings all on there as well. Let's go with things. Let's see how we get on with a change team here. Hopefully, still going to get us through to the next round. Uh, we want to try and keep the cup competitions going as much as possible, even though it can be very difficult to put out a strong team each time. I'm um, just hoping we've got enough quality ultimately to overcome teams like Nottingham Forest. Okay, there we go for this game against Nottingham Forest. I think Rashford's starting from for the first time, I think. So we'll wait and see whether that does us good, and uh, hopefully just, just bangs in the goals, because we could do with some goals in this thing. There we go, Ryan. Go on, hit this. Ah, oh, I dragged it. Session, big chance for him to cross it in. Go on. Bring it down and shoot. Blocked again by the defender. It's a bit of a shame, is that? Ben Davis should hopefully try and get to this. Yeah, no. No, okay. No, don't allow them through that easily. Amateur at the back there. Luckily, Nottingham Forest aren't very good at shooting, so it is still nil nil, but really, really poor from us there. Just allowed them to go cut through us, really. And it's pretty obvious to see what we're going to do. We just allowed it. Madison, can you pick out Ali? Has to be. Go on. Short corner here again, 10 minutes from half time at 0 0. Disappointing first half, very similar really to that Swansea game where we controlled the match but just not really created any chances. Hopefully, though, we can get some goals or at least a goal for half time maybe. Trippier trying to cross it on his left foot into that post for Deli Alley, beaten to it. We're trying to find different ways of breaking them down, but it's tough. It's uh, really, really difficult to get that ball into the box and actually win it in there. Madison will try and cross again, but it's deflected to the keeper. So yeah, half time, nil nil. We have to try and find a different way around this because it's not quite working for us right now. Uh, we're trying to get the full backs forward and cause an overlap situation, but even still, when the ball gets into the middle, we're just not really getting it into anybody. So a few changes, I think, here at half time. So yeah, just one change. Harry Kane to come on. We'll take off Seto Young's little switch as well. Uh, with Rashford going on the left hand side, Madison staying on the right. So yeah, we'll go with that. See how we get on for the second half. It's just about getting more of a target man in the middle. Rashford was struggling there. Up against quite strong Nottingham Forest defenders. Rashford, that's fantastic. Rashford, it's 1-0 and it's worked perfectly for us because Harry Kane has drawn so many players around him there as the hold-up guy, the guy that was getting hold of that ball and waiting for a runner to be made. Look at this when it goes to Harry Kane. Drags two players into him. The fullback leaves Rashford. Rashford becomes open and can finish. 1-0, perfect. Absolutely perfect what we wanted to do tactically. And it's, yeah... I couldn't really ask for a quicker sort of start to the second half. Go on, hit this. Easy as that. 2 0. Deli Alley does it this time round, and it's Harry Kane who gets himself the assist. And once again, as well, so two assists for Harry Kane since coming on at half time. Fantastic bit of play. Harry Kane is dropping in deep and then finding a bit of space for Deli Alley uh, to be played the ball, and it's a good strike once again from long range there from Deli. And it's now 2 0. Double that lead. Perfect, really, from us in the opening 15 minutes of the second half. Nottingham Forest obviously left with no choice but to come forward now, so that was going to help us out. Certainly, it might mean we have to do more defending, though, which isn't great for us because that's not exactly our strength. Final two changes, Oakley Booth and Edwards to come on. We'll take off Madison and Deli Alley. Give those guys a rest now for the final 15, 20 minutes, and uh, we'll happily go with that. at so 2-0. Really impressive time we got on uh, so far, actually, in the second half. Much, much better. We figured out Nottingham Forest after that first half. We knew exactly what we were going to do, and we adapted, and uh, we've caused them some real problems at the back. Uh, so yeah, just really pleased now. Going to try and get third and maybe fourth. Harry Kane trying to play Marcus Rashford. Here we go. Rashford still going here. Go on, get into a more central position. 
and just have a go. May as well. There we go. There we go. Must be. It is. It's a hat trick for Harry Kane. Hat trick of assists, but still put it in the title. So. There we go. Oakley Booth, the youngster, 17 year old, scores the third goal here in the 89th minute. A really good uh, second half from us. Harry Kane's brilliant hold up play once again. Look at that. Uh, allows the space for the youngsters to run into and just smashes it home off the bar and in. Love those sort of goals. Brilliant play from him. He does look really good actually, does this uh, 17 year old. Never actually heard of him before, but. Uh, really, really impressed by what he's shown me. So, uh, yeah, we'll certainly be in and around the team more often. Uh, but fantastic strike from him. And like I say, hat-trick for Harry Kane. I don't think he gets the match ball for that, unfortunately. Go on, get a goal for yourself. Come on, Harry. Go on. Do this by yourself. He's still going. No, he's not. That's it, full time. It finishes 3 0. Really impressed, actually. Especially after a pretty sort of average first half. Um, I'm really impressed. I managed to get three goals in the second. Turned the game round, sort of, in a way. I mean, we were already on top, but I uh, actually managed to get some goals, which we lacked in the first half. And I started to finish sort of the chances that we were creating. After the first and second one, it was kind of uh, obvious where this game was going for Nottingham Forest. They didn't have a shot on target either, which clearly didn't help. But Harry Kane was the turning point. He was going off the bench, really helped us, and got us into that next round as well, which was really important for us in the Carabao Cup. The reason I'm happy at not being selected, um, wait until I tell him he's being sold. And that's not to do with the drink driving challenge in real life. Although, could be. Good news for us, Victor Wanyam has been sold. He goes to Man United, everything's agreed. £22.5 million. He will leave when the transfer window opens, which is fantastic. Gets us more money into the club. Also got uh, Vaughan leaving to West Brom as well. So looking forward to the transfer window reopening so we can get that money and reinvest it into some more players, which we still, I think, need, despite us coping for now. But next up, so we have another challenge for us. A lot of games grew up again in a small space of time, so we have to try and cope with that. And we are back in the Premier League for a game against West Ham. Gareth Bale, top of the goal scorers charts right now, which is good to see. And I guess that's everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I'd appreciate you dropping a like on today's video and subscribing if you haven't already. Remember, I'm trying to hit 20k subs right now, so I'd really appreciate all the support you guys can give. Um, sharing the video would be great too. Let me know if you've done everything in the comment section below. That would be absolutely great too. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.